Ladies and gentlemen, I think the first thing about any business ought to be the idea. You must put on your thinking cap to know exactly what you want to achieve. Without that, no business can flourish. Having the idea is number one thing. After having the idea, the simpler the idea, the better. Because according to Leonardo da Vinci, the ultimate sophistication is simplicity. The next thing will be to perfect the idea. We call that the experimentation stage. You perfect all manners of experiments. You perfect all manners of packaging. Then you perfect all manners of test running the idea. Then you put together people who will test it. You need to get feedback from the society because you aren't going to sell it to ghosts. You must sell it to human beings. If that's so, then you must test run the market. After that, you need to learn to conserve your money. The less you spend, the better. Either your earnings, which could be sourced from maybe your friends, family, and uh, loved ones, your children or whatever, where the money, the source of the money is not important. What's important is how you use the money. But we think anything you invest, so long as you are gaining returns of investment, we mean profit by way of uh, uh, creating wealth, then you are making progress. That's the way we look at it. Then the next thing will be, don't waste money on necessary stuff. You don't have to spend on what you don't need. You need to critically evaluate what you really need. What exactly do you need for the company? What are the raw materials for what you are producing? If it's a creative thing, you need to practice every day because the secret of being a genius is practice. Everybody is born to be a genius. The problem is because most of them fail to discover who they really are and they use less than, let's say, um, 10% of their competency and that is why the genius didn't come out or the genius was not seen. So but what I think is after that is done you need to meditate and think very well. You need to relax, reflect on every idea critically to know if it's going to be successful. You need to think again we call it continuous innovation and improvement to get quality output. How do you do that? You do that because based on feedback you receive from the people, you need to improve on those products. You need to look at the relationship from where you started from. You need to reduce the overhead cost because unless things are really very cheap, because in the world today, the poorest number of people are not having wealth. So unless you can overcome the cost of production to make it very cheap, everybody cannot have it. Then, you need to learn from people who are doing almost the same thing from you. You don't need to involve yourself in college uh, addicted habit, wasteful habit. You need to even select your friends. You cannot be hanging out with uh, ducklings and want to fly with the eagles, it's not possible. You can't be hanging out with people who aren't going nowhere and expect to go somewhere. You must hang out with people who, who are going somewhere. Meaning, you must move out with people who inspire you, who motivate you, people who also mentor you. That's the way to go. That's the secrets and the rituals of the rich and famous.